Hello there, it's Sandy Alnock, and I'm going to talk about branching out today, specifically in watercolor, but this applies to any medium. As you take something up that's new, often the, the impulse is to stay small. Work in a sketchbook, make a card or a postcard, make something small so you don't have that giant sheet of white paper staring at you. Anybody resonate with that? Well, I have been trying to figure out how to help people get over that hump. You might have taken a watercolor class like my Jumpstart class, wanting to get into watercolor, but that's still taught on a small sketchbook. Those were little five by sevens, and you want to take that next step, but it's frightening to go that big. And a lot of my bigger fine art classes jump way ahead of where you might be. And if you've been following along with my channel, you know that I have been trying to rethink some of my approaches to teaching, specifically that I tend to teach too many things in one lesson. Oh my gosh. I realize that I do that. I'm trying to give you lots of value when I teach you. And I decided on this particular class, I was going to just take a deep breath and approach it a little differently. It's a class called Branching Out, and it's all leaves and just various different types of leaves, working with a lot of transparency, a lot of the properties of the pigment, a lot of ways to apply it, ways to get textures and things. It's a really fun class, but what I've done is focused each lesson on just one or two specific tips. The other great thing about this is even though it's painting larger, it's painting on eight sheets. These are 10 and a half by seven inch paintings. It's bigger, but you're not painting all of it at once, which can be really scary. You're just painting one leaf at a time. And they're all different kinds, all different colors. You can use whatever kinds of colors you have. You don't have to use what I've got. I'm trying to just help you understand some of the techniques that you're going to need later as you advance in your painting. You may find that this is a style of illustration that you love and you want to stay right here and do this forever. And it's really easy and it's really relaxing. It's somewhat forgiving in a lot of different ways. You'll find out more about that in the class. But it's my attempt to see if I could start to peel back to some of the very basics of painting. And the class is called Wrenching Out. And it's watercolor exercises, but you'll end up with actual frameable paintings. And as we're in a season right now where I heard that the shipping crisis is going to continue, so shopping for the holidays is going to be harder this year, you could actually give away these paintings as Christmas gifts once you complete the class. So I wanted to launch this in time so you have time throughout the fall to take some classes and learn how to make some paintings and then maybe get your shopping done at the same time by giving a gift of art from the heart. So there's a link in the doobly-doo to the class. There's 10 lessons in it. And I'm excited to see what you're going to be able to paint because you could make 10 amazing paintings out of one class. All right. I will see you guys later. Take care. Bye-bye. <laughs>